So, uh, welcome to 12 Apostles Helicopters, guys. My name is Leisha. I'm going to be flying today. Come to have a look at London Bridge and the Apostles. Just our 15 minute return flight. Now, I remind you not to touch the doors for me, guys, and just keep the microphones on those headsets nice and close to your mouth. They are voice activated. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I'll just re uh, remind you, or let you know, we do have air sick bags up the front here with a northerly wind. It's giving us a few bumps on our flight today, but it shouldn't be too bad. But if anyone does feel unwell at any point, please let me know. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> wow. Now we'll uh, turn to the left here, guys, head over towards uh, the cliff line. When we do cross the coast, we'll actually have the Apostles underneath us first thing. We'll see them all in line when we come back down along the coast as well. Just with the wind direction today, we'll depart over the top just to keep all our traffic going in the one direction. There we go, so five Apostles are here on our left and the remaining two just ahead to our right, so seven in total. So we originally only began with nine, so just like common belief, there were never actually twelve Apostles to begin with, just nine. So they actually named them the Apostles, but because everyone knew of the twelve Apostles from the Bible, that name caught on, and uh, that's why people arrived always disappointed that there weren't actually twelve stacks to begin with. This is the final two. They finish at this next one here with the flat green top. So after that, all the features do have their own individual names. I'll go through them with you through the flight, guys. So these next two shorter stacks, they were given the name of the Twin Sisters. They did it used to look identical, as the name suggests. But we had the top fall off the one closer to the cliff line about six years ago. Left of that, a slightly taller feature. Looks like two joined together. That one's called the Salt and Pepper Shakers. And then the next large feature, shaped like a seahorse. This one was given the name Mutton Bird Island. Now this is actually the site of the Lockhart shipwreck as well, that feature. And directly behind it, there's a little stretch of beach. That one was named the Lockhart Gorge. So after that vessel, it is where the two survivors took refuge. Now the next point on the right here with the boulder under the waves in front was given the name Broken Head. And then with the hole through the centre, the next freestanding stack is called Baker's Oven, because it was thought to look like an old-fashioned wood-fired pizza oven. Now I'm going to say a little bit further from the coast along this next little section, guys. This is where we would get uh, our turbulence, if any, just with the tall cliff walls in this section. But, uh, that feature straight ahead, this one is called the Sentinel Rock. It is the final and tallest feature of the National Park, standing just under 75 metres tall. It's roughly the height of a 20-storey building. Coming alongside a Port Campbell Township, just to our right here. That's home to just over 600 permanent residents. It's only quite a small town. We can have the population swell up to around three or 4,000 each Christmas and New Year period. 
it's quite popular being so close to the National Park and the Apostles, so it becomes a pretty busy little spot. If you have a look into Port Campbell Bay as we come in line, you'll see the local pier on the right. That's uh, where the fishermen lift their boats in and out of the water. So you have five commercial crayfishmen. They start operations about mid-November each year and run through until uh, about the middle of winter, roughly, uh, roughly July, August. They have a few months off just before they start up again. So that's uh, our whale season as well here, guys. Approximately April or May and runs through to about November, just depending on the, the conditions. So we're trying to get southern right whales on the south coast here. Later in the season, we have been known to see orcas and blue whales on occasion as well. And, uh, it has been a few weeks since our last sighting, but uh, you never know, keep your eyes out. It's pretty calm on the water today, so it'll be pretty easy to spot. Uh, we have had quite windy conditions as well, which may have been uh, prohibiting or uh, making it a little bit more difficult to spot them if they have been coming through the area. Now this next feature, straight ahead, this one is the arch. You can see there's a couple of boulders at the base. They're about the same size as the cabin of this helicopter. It's then on the far side of this next headland, which is called Point Hess, that we'll see the London Bridge. London Bridge, it got its name obviously, it used to remind people of uh, the London Bridge in the UK because it had a double archway. Well, unfortunately the second and connecting arch collapsed into the ocean in 1990, leaving two people stranded out on the remaining section. So, uh, nowadays the feature is freestanding from the coast, just one archway through the centre. So wow. It's more commonly being referred to as the London Arch instead. And uh, In a moment we will turn around and have a look at the left hand side as well. Here we go, so London Bridge once again, just here to the left. This is uh, Two Mile Bay to the left here, our popular surfer local hotspot. And then you can see straight to Port Campbell Bay as well.
Now as we head to the National Park again, we start with the Sentinel Rock, that's our tallest feature. And to the right of it you've got Double Bay or Twin Bays. The location there is home to one of our colonies of fairy penguins. The other two colonies come up onto the sand beneath the Apostles and the third back up behind the London Bridge. We've got the Baker's Oven with a hole through the middle. And after that, the Sherbrooke River. After this point broken ahead, we've got uh, Mutton Bird Island and directly behind it the Lockhart Gorge. And you've also got two little inlets there. The first one that's got the opening through to the ocean, that one's Thunder Cave, and then the second is the Blowhole. So all these lookouts here from Lockhart Gorge through to Sherbrooke River, they can all be accessed via the Lockhart Gorge car park. And then after that, from left to right, we've got the Razorback Ridge, the Salt and Pepper Shakers, and the Twin Sisters. And then after that, these are your apostles, just in front as well. These are our seven apostles, guys. Now, the uh, last one that's been demoted, just behind the first one here with the flat top. You can see he's very, very short, can't be seen from the lookout anymore. That's why he's not included. And then the uh, last apostle to collapse, this was the one back in 2005, used to be second back from the lookout wall. So you can see the pile of rocks that sits on the sand. So they do officially finish at the lookout point, and the two on the far side, they're separate as well. They're known as Gog and Magog. In a moment, guys, we'll uh, cross the coast here, we'll make our descent. And you'll see the Gibson steps in front of us. That's a staircase you can walk down to access the beach below those two features to see them from ground level. And we'll also get a nice view of all the Apostles in line out the left-hand side. We've got one surfer just out, just out from Gibson Stats here. You can see him catching a wave now. Just the one remaining. I think there are about, there must have been at least five, a few, a few flights ago. So others must have gone in. Okay guys, last few of the Apostles just in front of us here. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the flight, I hope it wasn't too bumpy for you. Fairly nice afternoon though. Now, uh, when we land, we're uh, going to land up where we uh, took off from. This is my last flight for the time being. So just stay seated for me until a staff member comes to get you from the aircraft, okay? I'll give you a hand with your seatbelts and your doors as well. There we go guys, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed the flight.